Even as a doctor, I found this super surprising. New data suggests that these are the top 20 COVID symptoms right now, and things have changed a little bit. These symptoms are likely down to a new subvariant of Omicron called BA5. You shut my battleship. And at the top of the list, you have sore throat, but not just like any kind of sore throat. The patients I've spoken to and treated have described it as like the worst sore throat of their life. It's like sandpaper in their throat or razors. And if you look at the top 10 list, something interesting begins to appear. There seems to be more flu-like symptoms and more upper respiratory tract symptoms. So the question remains, why have the symptoms changed and what does this mean for vaccine effectiveness? Well, to get to the bottom of that, we need to understand how viruses work and in order to spread, viruses need to replicate, and they can't do that alone. The shit ain't Hogwarts. You're a wizard, Harry. It needs your own body's cell, so it needs to get inside the cell, and the best way it does that is with a thing called a spike protein. Think of it as a key, or almost like a Trojan horse. That's a llama, I couldn't find a toy horse. And eventually this spike protein gains access to your cell, allowing the virus to take over your cell and replicate. As the virus mutates, it gets better at spreading, and that key spike protein begins to change, meaning that it becomes more effective at opening up your cells. It is also thought that the new subvariants are becoming better at evading our immune system. Research from the University of Bristol has found that the spike protein attaches itself to your cells in your heart and also your blood vessels, and at times can cause release of certain chemicals that can cause inflammation, which could explain why some patients after COVID infections can get heart-related symptoms or blood vessel symptoms. Another study found that Omicron replicates quicker in your upper respiratory tracts compared to other variants which were in your lower respiratory tracts. This may explain why the subvariants of Omicron have similar upper respiratory tract symptoms. So what about vaccines? What the hell is the point of a vaccine if it doesn't protect you fully from COVID? Well, remember... Only a Sith deals in absolutes. The key from the beginning with vaccines is that it's there to protect you from severe illness, death, and hospitalization. Yes, over time, a vaccine may not fully protect you from getting the infection, but it will reduce your risk of ending up in hospital or dead. As our immunity seems to wane over time, I think we'll have boosters that are created specifically for subvariants. That obviously will take time and research. In the meantime, if you had any of the symptoms we've listed at the beginning, please get yourself tested. If you have that super terrible sore throat that I described earlier, then this video will help you. It talks about some soothing remedies you could use at home. And please let me know how many of these top 20 symptoms have you got right now? Has this variant been milder for you or worse? And if you wanna see more of these weekly health videos, please hit the like, subscribe and bell to help the channel. 